Hello there, my name is Tracy Elsom and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada and welcome to my Paper Craft With Me YouTube channel. Today I want to do a bit of a retro project. This was one that I did a couple of years ago and it's basically a little hot chocolate packet inside a pouch. Now, unfortunately, all the products, apart from the hot chocolate, that I used to make this are now retired from Stampin' Up. This was made with the envelope punch board. And these, the stamp set and the, uh, the mug there, the sentiment and the mug, were from a retired set called Hug in a Mug. And that set's no longer available. So I wanted to show you an alternate idea where you can make something very similar, but using... Um, just a scoring board and a paper trimmer. So let's get started. So here is my hot chocolate pouch and I have chosen a piece of paper and it is from the Brightly Gleaming Specialty Designer Series Paper Pack. It's 12 by 12 sheets and I have cut this one down to 6 by 6. So that's the first thing that we need and that's all the paper that we need to make the project. Now I have my Simply Scored tool here and I want to show you something that I'm going to do before I start and I need to know where one of these lines is and I could sit there and measure but what I've decided to do is to just take a marker I need to know where the four and a quarter mark is so I've just taken a marker and I've marked that all the way down. So now, if I have got my piece of paper lined up on that line there at four and a quarter, and this corner is also on that black line, I know I got it straight. And that's the important part. So with those corners, opposite corners on four and a quarter, I have my scoring tool which comes with the board and there is a small ball on one end and a larger ball on the other end and because this is designer series paper it's not as thick as card it's thicker than standard copy paper but not as thick as card so I want to use the larger ball so that I don't cut all the way through the I don't score through the paper and tear it so I'm going to start with the paper on this line at four and a quarter I'm going to score it at two and three quarters so here's my two and three quarter mark with the large ball I can bring it down and now bring it down there then I'm going to score on the other side there at five and seven eighths so one two three four five six seven five and seven eighths and gently score that. You don't want to do too bad, too um, strong on there. Don't press too hard or you'll tear the paper. Now I'm going to turn the paper round and I'm going to put the other diagonal on that line again. It's just so that I know that when I do my score line, it's going to be straight. Now I'm going to score here at six and three eighths. One, two, three. Six and three eighths. So there we are, and that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to bring this is the detail trio punch, and I'm going to just bring that in and I'm going to punch, get it straight, go punch each corner. putting it in properly. There we go, that's better. You get a better result if you actually use the tool properly. Let's make sure that's straight. There we go. So okay. There. That's better. So Despite all those punches, I've punched the four corners. Now, I don't know if you can see those marks. Maybe it's better on this side. So we've got two lines there and one across. So all I'm going to do is gently fold that over and press it down with my fingers. I don't need to press with a, a 
bone folder because this is just paper. So where those score lines are, I've just folded them up. Now I'm going to grab my paper snips and here we have a little corner. So I'm going to simply let's go this side so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to cut up that score line to where it comes across and I'm going to cut up that score line. So I'm cutting a little notch out there. Then I'm going to cut that one and that one. So now I have these and this folds up like that. So all I have to do is fold that in first. I'm going to grab a bit of tear and tape. I would probably do this with um, multi-purpose liquid glue normally but because I want it to be able to stick and hold without you having to wait for it to dry so there we are so I've got a little piece of tape here and I've got a piece there so now I'm going to bring my hot chocolate in Place that inside the pouch because you, you don't want it to be too flat otherwise you won't have room to fit this nice little fat packet of hot chocolate. So I'm going to put that in, bring that one over and you can see how it's kind of creating a dome there which is why I needed to have the, the packet inside. Now I'm going to bring that one over and press down and there is the hot chocolate packet. And then all I did, as the Hug in a Mug set is no longer available, I've chosen this stamp set, which is now uh, available at the moment from Stampin' Up. It's called Cup of Christmas, and it's got some lovely sentiments and some mugs. And in fact, this is a very clever set because you can stamp the mug one way, and then you can turn it over and you can stamp it the other way. So if you want a left-handed and right-handed mug, you can do that. Um, the set also has coordinating dies, so I have embossed my sentiment with copper and stamped the outline. So here's my uh, comfort and joy sentiment. I've stamped the outline, embossed it in copper, and then we have two mugs in the coordinating dies, one for right hand, one for left hand. So it's a great little set. So all I've done is stamp that in copper, embossed it, and now I'm looking for my stamp and dimensionals. And I'm going to stick a couple of those on here. And just attach that to the pouch. So there we are. You can make little hot chocolate pouches or you could put chocolate in there, a bar of chocolate, something like that, with just a six by six piece of paper and a scoring board. So I will put all the measurements, dimensions and the scoring marks in my blog post today. There'll be a link at the bottom there in the description. You'll also find a link to all the products that I've used today so that you can make this for yourself at home. So great little stocking stuffer and a nice little appreciation gift to, to give to someone at this time of year. So thank you very much for watching me on YouTube. Um, you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and then make sure you click the little bell beside so that you get an email when a new video is posted by me. Um, you can also go to my blog at www.papercraftwithme.com and I have daily projects there, all new projects every single day and all the information you need to make my projects are included in that blog in the blog post so thank you once again for watching i do hope you'll join me again soon but for now bye bye